Welcome back to Streamline Entertainment. I've got a message of someone who was following the case um, from Tenerife. And this is really important, people, so buckle up. I'm writing to you about the Maruba during uh, week one. The Maruba piqued my interest so much that I wrote to MWT for um, him to look into it. I had numerous threats and people actively trying to silence me during the time whenever I publicly spoke out about the vessel. What were we saying is that people were not allowed to talk about the vessel, the Jay Slater case or anything over there. The owner's name, I believe, is someone called Dorian. The vessel is marked down to the Belgian vessel, which piqued my interest even more. Due to the fact that a couple of months before the Jay Slater case, a couple went missing in Tenerife. The, the wife was found in the sea, mutilated, with a bag over her head, and I actually did a video on this some weeks back. The husband was never found. They were Belgians. Coincidence? Question mark. Maybe. But the fact that now a Belgian vessel could be linked to yet another missing person murder case, it, t it makes you think, what is going on? So as you just know, it left uh, Barranco Seco Beach and did that loop in the ocean. And its a transporter was turned off around the time Lucy uh, got that supposed call from Jay. A couple of days later, that vessel was located at... Uh, La Palma, then its transporter was turned off again. It made its way to La Gomorra, uh, where it stayed dormant for a few days. Until, of course, remember during the time of Jay's disappearance article and posts were made uh, today that Debbie withdrawing part of her GoFund me. That's strange. Very, very, very strange coincidence. This, of course, made my ears uh, prick up. I stalked that boat again, and it made its way back to Tenerife that very same day. Now I, now I don't know uh, what Debbie did regarding the GoFundMe that day, but I cannot be another crazy coincidence that the very same day the suspicious vessel went back to Tenerife. Its transporter were off again for a little bit before it showed back up at the beach in Tenerife. I will have to try and find the name of that beach for you, but I found a live cam that showed me pretty much a perfect view of the boat and what it was doing. Wow, wow. Uh, let me tell you something. This person has got a lot of information and also um, a lot, a lot of threats um, as well have gone their way um, in Tenerife and uh, in England as well. So sometimes when you get close people to information, uh, people try to close you down and it does get a bit ropey sometimes. It was joined during the night, couldn't see as it was pitch black, but I know it was alone when the sun went down and by morning another vessel was there with it. Wow, wow. Could it be unrelated? But this beach is very secluded, so it was just very strange as they set off with just maybe an hour between them. Very odd. It set off towards Gran Canera, transporters back off and have been off since. No sign of that vessel, so its whereabouts and activities are unknown since then. But as I kept bringing this boat up so much, a lady started to actively target me to try and silence me. They gave me a form that shows the ship ported at La Palma on the date of the 17th of June. As we know, that date, Jay went missing. She was very, very rude to me, uh, stating how wrong I was. But what I did notice about the document given was that they were no, there was no time specified, which we know it is important in the Jay Slater case. We know for a fact that the vessel was in the area Jay went missing. That's a fact. Here and a few others was forcing this document everywhere. I tried to warn people, uh, were telling me to shut up about this, I'm wrong. But each and every time I confronted this person asking about the time of the arrival, 
they would spit their dummy out and call me horrible names and threaten me. Wow. 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 You're close. You're close. And if you were there um, as well in that area, you're going to know a lot more than what we do here. So it seems that I was asking a very valid question. It could have been any time on the 17th uh, that arrived in La Palma. They were trying to tell me that they was not at the location Jay went missing, which is a load of crap, as it was literally tracked via satellite. If you are confused about anything, feel free to question, and I'll do uh, my best to answer this person's charts. They're going to send the folder over of all the information that evening and got some of the screw well that evening morning should I say and I've just got um, home from work so I didn't see the uh, comment sooner on your YouTube my phone that did notify me but yeah just give me a little bit of time to gather uh, together images and stuff to send as you can imagine my folder is absolutely crammed with stuff regarding the JK's so we'll have to sieve through so this is someone who's actually done some investigations and was over there at the time um, he went missing and was there live. I'm so glad that the boat is being brought up more now because, to be honest, early on in my investigations, I did dismiss it. And a lot of people tell me, Marv, it's involved, it's in, 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 involved. But obviously so much information and so many YouTubers are doing some brilliant work in bringing this all out. I'm so glad that this boat is being brought up more now during the time I felt like um, like uh, I was going crazy as nobody seemed to be listening but we are now which was so frustrating I've had to make new accounts on the likes of Facebook and so forth to keep my identity safe I was being threatened left right and center Wow 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 I can believe it I can believe it as well because obviously this case is sensitive and it's also blowing off uh, other links to probably other killings that this boat was involved with people. Oh, I thought I'd mention also that the boat has also changed. I've, this is important. I've had the past couple of years. It used to be a larger vessel with red vinyls along the outside. That's an old image of the vessel, strangely. That vessel has changed to a smaller one with blue vinyls. I don't know if they are allowed to change vessels uh, with the same reg I do or not. But that's what's been done. That's why people are so confused uh, over what boat was which. Very strange. Very strange. Both have the same ID. Both have the same name. It's just changed vessels over time. Possibly linked to drug running. Uh, um, I'd say its activities and have been extremely suspicious. Wow. So this is someone who's been watching these boats even before Jay Slater went missing. The owner also spoke to the police because I was hot uh, on its tail. All they did was hand the police that document to prove they were in La Palma on the 17th. Obviously the police didn't investigate. Like I've stated, it doesn't give a time, which is important. The police did not search the vessel nor was forensically examined. Money talks, money talks. You know, everyone's been honest, with it, but this is the information we really needed. Um, because obviously, whoever's been using these boats are, are continually using them, and now they've been called out. This is what it seems to me. This is why this person's been threatened. The police looked at the documents and sent them on their way, which was so frustrating. I remember at the time when the police searched boats and choppers went out to the collation of the Maruba, the boat was brought back towards the land of Tenerife, but they did not absolutely nothing regarding this actual search, not to mention this boat has been two different countries before the police got to speak with the owner. I remember tracking the chopper and search boats at the time, feeling super anxious, thinking, oh my God, uh, they may find Jane now. I was watching it all happen live, unfortunately, the outcome was nothing because the police don't investigate or do any actual police work <laughs> probably because they're in on it I've done my best to explain everything but I will send the documents and other things shortly it's going to be a tough work uh, digging it all out if you have any questions feel free to ask I'm not going to put the name up uh, I've been extremely inv invested in the Jay Slater case from day one safe to say I've dug away more than I should but I desperately want to get justice for Jay wow 
I do think this is supposed to play a role in this. I've done since week one. It would make sense and as to why the dogs couldn't pick up a, a, a J sent up because he didn't go that way. I don't believe he was alive by the time he reached Masco or if he even went to Masco at all. Uh, what, whatever happened, happened in, in the car he got in. I hate to say, but a murder without making a mess or obvious signs of trauma. A bag over the head, then whatever happened after that to make uh, it look consistent with a fall. I don't think he can determine uh, asphyxiation a month later in a heavily decomposed body. Yet yeah, a lot of people said that, especially if it was done with a bag, which is maybe why they are not picking up foul play. And it does make sense, you know, at the end of the day, were they, you know, using, um, it's sad to say, um, you know, his dead bodies to obviously take picture of those he was still alive as well, because that would make sense. Um, I'm going to do more talking uh, with this person, but I've got to get this out um, pretty quick um, as well. So any more information, I will let you know. I may even um, meet this person and get an interview from them. Thank you. Take care wherever you are in the world.